This is the story of a five, one kilometer stretch of river in Pune, in the Pune city environment, which uh, has for one reason or another been a very natural setup for many, many years. So the ecology of a riverine tract has been preserved here for decades. Now, the question is, how did this happen? One of the reasons is that this was a traditional fisherman's site and they built small fishing buns across the river where through the outlets they would tie their nets and by doing that they were able to catch a large amount of fish, even massive fish which were of large sizes. Now this uh, riverine tract therefore got uh, gradually polluted of course and also a certain amount of deforestation of the river in tract occurred over the years. However, this is the only natural stretch of river left in 44 kilometers of river, in, river sites in Pune. This makes it very important that we preserve it in some way. And preserving it actually means ecological preservation. This is what has been the background of this river for so many generations. Sometime in the late 1980s, 90s, uh, this became quite popular <coughs> because Salim Ali came here and inaugurated it as a bird sanctuary. Now it never became a bird sanctuary, but it was always protected. The forest department had a social forestry plantation there and a nursery for many years. And so the disturbance on this river was less. This made it a very rich biological diversity site. It had fish in the river, there were amphibia, frogs in the monsoons, uh, there were snails and worms, and the whole ecosystem was due to this shallow spread of water, which those fisher folk generations ago had created. And this is what brought birds from migratory as well as local birds in very large abundance on this small river stretch. And there were, in the winter season, times when you could have as many as 5,000 birds on one and a half kilometers of river. This has got reduced over time, but even today, the river gets more than a thousand birds uh, in winter time. The diversity of these birds, aquatic birds, is very, very high. The fact that this is so diverse in terms of habitats is because those fishermen generations ago built these fishing buds and created a shallow flowing, slow moving body of water in which fish, fish could breed in large numbers. And therefore, we had an ecosystem which was a very active ecosystem. And this has remained till very recently. Pollution, of course, has increased and therefore a certain amount of that natural system did gradually disappear. But we still have a very rich biological diversity, hot speck which uh, is so very important for us as urbanites to preserve. After uh, Dr. Salim Ali's visit, this uh, patch of river was used by school students and schools brought their children here to understand what river in ecology means. WWF and Bharti Vidya Peet brought their MSc students here for ecological studies of the river. And this was unique because in, in an urban setup like this, to have a natural hot speck of biodiversity was, ex was an extremely important way of learning biology. And this is what we furthered for many years. Many of us in Pune who were concerned about education in the outdoors used this track of river. The current threat now is due to the Puna Municipal Corporation wanting to have a beautification sort of set up here. How do you beautify an already natural beauty of this riverbed and this river system? Which is so very sad because bringing in any artificial, architectural, engineering aspects in whatever form that uh, is planned would be disastrous for the nature of this area. This whole uh, way in which this has been portrayed to the citizens of Pune is a sort of a glamorous uh, type of uh, river sort of front management. But this does not take into account that this particular stretch is already very beautiful. And to try to create something which is unnatural there is something that this city is going to lose. 
and uh, perhaps this is what we need to think about it. Are we able to reframe parts of this project which will conserve nature? Citizens groups have raised objections to this and they have raised it from various points of view. Channelizing the river like that will raise the water level and this could become a huge disaster situation because uh, we are going to get more and more outbursts and thunderclouds and uh, extreme weather events due to climate change which is going to change the water flow in this river especially as this river gets water from several dams at the same point in time and therefore in the monsoon this could become a very hazardous sort of situation we are creating something which nature has been able to protect us from into something which is increasing the risk of a disaster uh, through uh, flooding. What are we going to do? Are we going to improve nature by doing this? Or are we just going to destroy its natural beauty? And this is the aesthetic part of it. But don't forget that this is equally important as an ecosystem service that this part of the river provides. When the water comes in, of course it is polluted, and because of the way the natural flow happens here, some part of that pollution is certainly being reduced. Creating a channel would only drive that water forward downstream. It is the wide river bed here, which and shallow river bed, which really acts as a sort of natural purification part of this uh, whole ecosystem. While this project for river beautification is on, it's important to understand that uh, this is something that has already become a, a sort of reality. But there are patches of this river which are natural and which provide ecosystem services and assets which we need to protect. And this is one such site among the few sites. So in 44 kilometers of river, we just have a couple of nice spots there which are really preserving nature, which are very important. So perhaps this is the way forward.